and welcome guys. This is going to be my commentary of my trip to Japan about a year ago. This is me just arriving at Haneda Airport. Here is a Shinjuku station, my main station while I stayed in Tokyo. And here we are at Shibuya Crossing. And looking back at this footage, I just see how really vibrant this section of Tokyo is. There's so much going on with the people and the street signs. There's just so much activity. It's really cool. And here's kind of like a view of the actual crossing. And man, it just looks like there's like a thousand people crossing all at once and every time that day when there was a crossing it looked like that so it just goes to show how crowded and populated Tokyo is like all these people are going somewhere doing something you know just the sea of people passing through this section of Tokyo on a daily basis it's Quite, quite astonishing, quite impressive. Um, this is like a point of view of me crossing. It's kind of cool. There's like so much going on. A bunch of shopping and food places in this area. It's really crowded. All right, next to Shibuya Crossing, it's uh, Shibuya Sky. And I feel like every city now has one of these lookout points. So we go to the top of this huge skyscraper and we get presented this beautiful view of Tokyo from the top. It's kind of cool. You can see a tower records down there. You know, you don't see that anymore. And uh, we got there at the perfect time. There's like a school of kids just coming up and screaming and hollering, making a scene. And it was pretty cool, pretty funny to see. You could see everyone turning around to see what the commotion is about. But you see this great panoramic view of Tokyo. It's just like, as far as the eye can see, it's just city and buildings. Tokyo is absolutely massive. All right, this is the next day. So we are at Tokyo Station. This is kind of like one of the main entryways into the station. It has a European architect architecture to it. And this is the, the courtyard of Tokyo Station. And uh, looks pretty amazing. We got this classic architecture of the station itself and it's surrounded by these really modern buildings, these skyscrapers. You could really see how beautiful and aesthetic Japan is in their setting up of this place. It's just, you know, this old classic building. Look at the Japanese flags surrounded by these huge modern skyscrapers so we have like this huge skyscraper on my right and then there's like another one on my left and in between there's like this pathway and if you like walk if you walk towards the imperial uh, palace which is straight ahead and you turn around you can see this really you know awesome viewpoint of Tokyo Station and it's just surrounded by these modern buildings you know just really almost majestic looking you know it's kind of really cool all right here's that pathway I was talking about so we're on our way to the Imperial Palace and uh, behind us is the Tokyo Station. And we, we're walking along here and these, these trees have this beautiful 
yellow leaves. It's really nice. We did a lot of walking this day. So here's the one of the entryways into the uh, Imperial Palace, the Imperial Garden. We have, you know, your classic Japanese architecture. I really appreciate like that stone that they stack upon each other and then they kind of shave it off and it has that crazy that crazy look here's um here's an like an old hall there were a lot of tourists that day here's like a wall we tend to see that a lot and you know a lot of the old japanese structures giant walls and moats Here's another gate. This gate's pretty burly. It really just like gives you a picture, an idea of how life was like back in, back in, you know, feudal Japan in those periods where they had to rely on walls and gates and huge doors to to, to protect their interests. So it's really cool. Uh, so I'm from, from Southern California. So it's really nice too to see the foliage in Japan. Just a lot of colors. Here's a giant moat. This thing is pretty awesome. It's huge just impressive to see you know what old civilizations had to do to protect themselves just build giant walls giant moats with the just manpower that they had back then you know constant wars and battles it's quite impressive. There's a the giant wall right there you could see. We actually walk up to that wall. Um, there's like kind of like a viewpoint at top. I'm kind of thinking now that there used to be a building there and then they maybe removed it. But right now it's just kind of like a, a flat platform. You can kind of overlook this portion of the, the park. You can see the Japanese uh, skyscrapers over there. You can see kind of like the mixture of modern with classic elements of the Japanese culture, which is pretty cool. So that building right there, I believe it's a music hall. I just Googled it. And uh, so we, we went here during the winter time, but during the spring, this is like all cherry blossoms. It's just cherry blossoms just blooming everywhere and it's just really beautiful. But right now it, it actually looks really nice too. You can see a lot of changing leaves, different color leaves. This is like an old cellar or something. It's kind of cool. Yeah, there was like so many different types of plants here. There was like a bamboo garden. They had all types of plants here. Very peaceful. So this is some bushes that were trimmed just like this building. This the roof of this building, which I thought was kind of, kind of cool. All right, this is, I believe another day, we went to Yoyogi Park. This is where the Meiji Shrine is. And there looks like we happened to stumble upon some type of wedding ceremony that's going on. You can see the bride and groom there. 
very impressive um, very impressive uh, you know party going on here so they went to the shrine and they you know they did their thing at the shrine and then now they're coming back you know it's very cool to see this this shrine is really well kept too it's just like immaculate condition super clean <clears throat> park is like in general super peaceful and serene just got to check it out if you uh, come to Tokyo it looks like they're on their way out and then there's some type of clergyman or priest speaking to them Japanese culture is very unique and different from from at least American culture to such a contrast and it's really cool to see in person how different it is okay so the next day we went to Asakusa and this is another shrine and we've I've entered the sh uh, the entryway already, so now we've gone into kind of like this this lane which leads to the shrine, which you could see ahead. But as you could see, before you get there, it's just bustling marketplace and tourist attractions and food, and souvenirs and merchandise. It's a little crazy. I was a little overwhelmed because I was I didn't know what to expect and you just go in and there's a whole bunch of tourists everywhere you know everyone's buying things and looking around and so it was pretty crazy but yeah you just you just take this 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 pathway all the way down you, know, you can go to the left or to the right and it's just more more food places and more souvenir shops to keep walking and you eventually lead or led into the the shrine itself so this is kind of like the the front of the shrine and um i really don't know about uh, japanese shrines but you can see like there's kind of like a theme going on at each one they're kind of uniquely different so this one has like this red theme to it and it has like a really high energy to the color of the red so it has like this really high energy feel to it compared to the um, meiji shrine that I visited the other day. You know, it had more um, neutral colors. But this one has like this really, you know, bold red color. And it, you get kind of, you kind of feel the energy off that, or I don't know, it's kind of weird. But uh, this is kind of like the main court. And that the, sh the kind of shrine is that building straight ahead. I'm not too sure what that, that building is. But then to the left and to the right are where people buy their charms or their fortunes or things like that. I'm not really into that stuff, so I'm not too sure what it is. But it has to do with their religion. And uh, there's a uh, there's kind of like um, an incense burner. It's like a giant incense burner in the center. Okay, so this is kind of near the end of the video. I just shot some of my food in the shot of my apartment. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos from this trip. All right, see ya.